Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA semester four, routing and switching, connecting networks. This is chapter eight and it's section 8.2 SNMP. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to configure SNMP to compile messages on a small to medium sized business network. Introducing to SNMP. Now, SNMP stands for Simple Network Management Protocol, which was developed to allow administrators to manage nodes such as servers, workstation routers, switches, and security plans on the IP network. SNMP is an application layer protocol that provides a message format for communicating between managers and agents. The SNMP system consists of three elements, SNMP Manager, SNMP agent, this managed nodes, and management information base, MIB. So SNMP manager is the device who actually gonna manage these devices. So for example, this administrator here sits on SNMP manager and uses messages like get, set, and well, some trap messages will come from the managed devices. So, but these devices from get and set gets it, uh, manages these devices. So for example, SNMP agent runs on the managed node. SNMP agent will build this management information base. For example, like the status of the interface, the status of routing protocols and so on. So the SNMP manager will say, okay, get a status of the interface. Then the, the device or the managed device using the SNMP agent will say, okay, well, status is down. Then the manager can say, okay, set message, set the interface up. Then the interface. So what you're doing is different to as to the syslog. Syslog, you're only seeing what is the messages, uh, what is the state, or is there anything error happening or anything like that. But the SNMP is a powerful protocol because you can actually manage the devices. You can pretty much manage anything on the device, like by sending get or set messages. Now SNMP has the capability of the syslog, saying traps. If something happens, it will send a trap, unsolicited message towards the manager. SNMP uses unreliable protocol and port number is 162. SNMP agents that reside on the managed devices collect and store information about the device and its operations. The information is stored by the agent locally in the management information base. The SNMP manager then uses the SNMP agent to access information within the MIB. There are two primary SNMP manager requests, like I said, get and set. SNMP manager is part of the network management system. The SNMP manager runs SNMP managed management software. So messages, for example, the SNMP manager can send them to agent like get requests, retrieve, retrieves value of the specific management information base variable, get next request. Then set request modifies the values of the management interface base variable. So that will then it will be like get response. For example, everything that you can set get request, you will get get response. And trap messages are transmits unsolicited alarm conditions. NMS periodically polls the SNMP agent residing on the managed device by querying the device for data using the get request. There are three SNMP versions. First, SNMP v1. This is a simple network management protocol, a full internet standard defined in RFC 1157. Version one is a legacy solution. We say legacy means old. SNMP v2, C, defined in RFC 1901 to 1908. Both SNMP v1 and v2, C, uses a community-based form of security. And then the latest one is SNMP3, V3. This is RFC 2273 to 2275. Provides secure access to devices by authenticating and encrypting packet over the network. So it includes these security features we have. With SNMP V3, we have message integrity. This ensures the packet was not tampered within the tran in transit. Authentication to determine that the message is from a valid source and encryption to prevent the contents 
of a message from being read by unauthorized source. There are two community strings. We have read only, RO, that provides access to the MIP variable, but does not allow these variables to be changed. So you only get get messages rather than set. Set is not allowed. Because security is so weak in version 2C, many organizations use SNMP v 2C in read only mode. Then we have read and write, which provides read and write access to all objects in management information base. So management information base object ID, every information that can be queried through the SNMP is looked in terms of an object. For example, the system up time is an object known as sys up time. Every object has an associated ID. A group of objects form a management information base. For example, the unique OID for the object sys uptime is 1.3. and so on. You can see it on the right here. Now, if we want to see the system uptime of the of the device, say router or switch, we will get lots of numbers like this: dot one, dot three, dot six, dot one. It doesn't make sense at all. I mean, SNMP is is like a raw information. So you still need another application to work to compile these messages or to code them in a format that we would understand because all these messages we're not going to understand. Steps for configuring SNMP. Step one, which is required. Here we configure the community string and access level, read only or read and write. So we command this SNMP hyphen server community and we put a password and then read only. Then we have optional document the location of the device. For example, SNMP server location, you can see the where the location is. Again, optional step three is document the system contact. So if you want to contact, that's the person you talk to. Step four, optional, restrict SNMP access to NMS host, SNMP managers. They are permitted by an ACL. Define the ACL and then reference the ACL. So for example, we create, okay, well, this device is able to access an NMS and we add that ACL on the community string. At the end of it, we type the ACL. Step five, optional, specify the recipient of SNMP trap operation. And step six, again, this is optional, enable trap on SNMP agent. To verify SNMP configuration, we type SN show SNMP and that should show us the contact, location and, and SNMP traps that we have. Then show SNMP community, that will show us again the community name, community index, community security name and so on. Thank you very much for watching this section 8.2 SNMP. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astro Krasnichi. Next video, 8.3, NetFlow. Bye-bye.